I'm very excited for this review. My channel is He Went Rogue, and I went out and purchased a Rogue guitar. So usually I'm against buying the guitar packs due to the fact that they're usually of lower quality, but I've had that opinion for the past 10 years now, and it's 2019, so I think it's time to see if they up their game. I want you all to know that this guitar wasn't given to me, and it was purchased with the intent of giving an honest review. So I couldn't find much about the Rogue brand itself. I do know that it is a house brand of Guitar Center and Musician's Friend, and both of those are under the same umbrella, same company. I wish I could give you more than that. Hopefully I can reach out to them and find out. If you're looking to buy this guitar, I suggest you check out guitarcenter.com, musiciansfriend.com. That way you can get the best price. They often go on sale. And I purchased this one for $109. All right, let's dig in. So as you can see, there was a lot of packaging. It does come with a couple things. So you do have a guitar. It comes with a 10 watt amp. And let's see what else we have in here. A few things back here, instrument cable and a guitar strap with a couple picks in there. And obviously a case. The packaging is quite good. See. Got your whammy bar, some Allen wrenches here. And I'm not gonna go over the specs of this guitar if you want. Just check it out on Guitar Center Musician's Friend. Um, for an inexpensive guitar, to me, the specs don't really matter. It's just how it feels, how it plays. So we got all the packaging off and let's check this out. So the color I got was the wine burst. And I'm just gonna check it to see if there's any flaws in here. So far it's looking great. There's a little bit of packaging dust still on it. But it is a lot better looking in person than in the pictures. Still looking around. Not seeing any major issues with the finish. There's a couple, you know, less than great spots around the pickup cavity. But other than that, it is in great condition. Sticker says that it is made in China. Obviously it comes out of tune. Most guitars do. Alright. Kind of a stiff selector switch here. Tone and volume knobs. Pretty smooth, actually. That's great. Has a straight neck. It's looking pretty good. Just put the Lamy bar on now.
all in all, pretty nice. I'm gonna check for some uh, fret sprouts, see if there's any jagged edges. And no, this is this is really good. The neck isn't very isn't very smooth. Kind of grips onto your hands. And. It's got some loose hardware here. I can I can wiggle these tuning pegs. But a couple turns of the screwdriver and that should be no problem. All right. Let's tune her up. have it. Took a little bit to get in tune. Uh, it could be just the stock strings that they have on it. I'm going to change them later. But for now, I want to give this guitar a fair chance. So I'm going to cut away for a bit, kind of explore this, play on it a bit. And when I come back, I will record a song using this amp, give you more of a demo, and I'll let you know my final thoughts. So there was a little bit of me playing the guitar. I want to let everyone know that uh, this is all stock. I used the cable that it came with. I didn't change the strings. I know I said I was, but I wanted it to play just like it would outside of the box so you can hear it. Um, for recording, I used the Blue Spark microphone, one of the original versions of it. One thing I did notice about the guitar after playing with it for a couple weeks stayed in tune very well. Every time I picked it up, I checked the tuner. It was slightly flat, but that's to be expected from just any guitar. Another thing I'd like to point out is I was wrong about the fret sprout. So the more I played with it, the more it kind of tore up my hands. And it happened down, you know, past the 12th fret is where I really was feeling it. And it just scraped off a bunch of skin. Um, Easily fixed, just file down the frets a little bit, but straight out of the box, it could hurt a little bit. Play. When you play in the first position though, you don't really notice it too much because your fingers, they're not really up against the fretboard. 
you'll notice that as you go down. And with all that being said, I do really like this guitar. It has a couple flaws, some jagged sprouts here and there, but other than that, it's a perfectly good instrument. Definitely something you can learn on. And as far as the amp goes, it handled the cleans very well. I found a setting that I liked and I stuck with it throughout playing. I just switched the pickups a little bit. Um, the dirty sound though, the drive, it just, it didn't do it for me. Uh, I was tweaking it, trying to find something that sounded good and it all sounded muddy. Every single setting I put it on. So I just kind of gave up and just recorded what you heard. This isn't an amp that you expect to gig with anyways. This is something just to practice in your bedroom, maybe along with a drummer on an electronic kit. Don't try to play with an acoustic drummer. It's not gonna work. You're gonna have to dial it all the way up. You might blow a speaker and it's just gonna sound bad. The more volume I gave it, the worse it sounded. You're also not gonna wanna record with this because why when you can just use your DAW and the amps that it comes with. But if you want to play metal or some sort of hard rock, I suggest that you get a pedal if you have this amp. Don't trust the drive on it. It's not going to sound good. Uh, it's passable for practicing, but you're going to sound very muddy. Well, that's all I got to say about this guitar. I know Musician's Friend and Guitar Center, they sell a deluxe version of this. I would love to get my hands on it and do another review. It has some added features and hopefully they did a better job on filing down the frets. They also have a two channel amp that's a lot bigger. And from the looks of it, my assumption would be the drive channel is gonna be a lot better. But I don't know, that one costs a little more money. I'm gonna reach out, see, maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll send me one and I'll get to review it. I'll see you guys next time in the next review.